in your next life. You know the one thing we have not tried? Oh, no, you're not seriously. Absinthe. Illegal almost everywhere else. Got to have it here. I don't know whether I can cope, but I'll give it a go. But you're an artist. I know, that's why I don't need any more absinthe. Absinthe is what made Van Gogh cut his ear off. I know, and I want to keep it my It's what made Toulouse-Lautrec go nuts. Exactly. The Czechs have been making absinthe for centuries, even after it was banned in much of Europe for its alleged mind-altering properties. In Prague, they add caramelised sugar to sweeten the bitter taste. Look, I can see there's a massive flame up there. There's no fucking flame in mine. Yeah, is that on fire? Is, is it on fire? Yeah, it's on fire. Yeah, yeah it's on fire. Put your I'm on hand fire. in it and see. Just check Ow! it out. <laughs> up yours. Up yours. I'm not sure whether I can. Up yours. Very steady. That is fucking extraordinary. It feels like someone's lit a can of petrol and poured it down my throat. It's the closest I can describe it. What the fuck is that now? Okay, okay. All right. I like to think Given Absinthe's popularity with artists, we thought we'd check to see whether it really could open the doors of perception. We decided to write some poetry. Are we going the right way? Our work done, we decided to put it to the test at a local poetry reading night. Tonight, I'm going to give you one special poem using iambic pentameter. Two verses. It's called Beef Stew, after the famous poetry group. Sorry, I'm overcome with the emotion and the depth of it. Beef stew. <laughs> Sorry, I can't cope. Ah, oh, dear. Beef stew, I want to go to the loo. But I like to think it makes me drink and blink and sink. I like to drink. It makes me think. <sighs> uh, good evening. Um, this is a, a modern adaptation and a sort of enhancement of an old poem I wrote. Um, the original poem, probably all know, was called Six Million. And this is Nine Million. So I hope you like it. One. Two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30, 805, 806, 807. It seemed that Absinthe's power to make you artistic didn't work for everyone. Maybe we should have given the audience some. Oh well, we gave it our best shot. 96,488. 293,411. 293,412. Right, I just got to go to sleep. I'll but see you later. I have got a third of the way through this. I know, you win. You win. Your poem is magnificent and brilliant. Well, I had the decency to stay and listen to your poem. Yeah, but mine was very short. Well, maybe I put a little bit more effort into it than you did. Whatever, son. Yes, you're right. See you later. Great. So that's it, is it? Tiger! 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the poem and stuff. That's right, Santa. Well, it was excellent. OK, I don't want us to fall out. So what have we learnt? Belgians love beer. 
Germans love beer, and Austrians love beer. Czechs love beer too, but they also like absinthe and a dash of green. All in all, not an astounding discovery, but it was a lot of fun. I love being a journalist. Cheers. Drivers doing all the things they know they shouldn't. Caught on camera and brought to your TV screens, Road Wars is next here on Sky One. Whilst over on Sky Travel, the wildlife detectives run to the rhino's rescue in an undercover operation next. <laughs>